Welcome back everybody to Alan Wake. My name is TK Spoons and today we are starting on episode 4. Every time I play this game and get a new episode it just keeps getting better and better. I am so loving this game right now. And uh, with the end of episode 3 we got a couple of answers but we still got like a lot of questions. Like um, we still don't even know where my wife is, uh, Mott the Kidnapper. Um, apparently he didn't have my wife at all and um, there's apparently some boss guy um, for him that uh, I mean I honestly don't know what they want with me or what's going on but it's just getting really good and I'm really loving the game so far so uh, let's jump right into episode 4 let's do this previously on Alan Wake I'm hunted by the law Sheriff Wake's running I'm giving chase are you seriously telling me that writer just took out my deputies a thriller I supposedly wrote is coming true the genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I was told that Alice had been kidnapped, but that was a lie. We don't have his wife. We don't know where she is. Her purported kidnapper was eaten up by the dark presence before it attacked me. The truth. Mm. Alan, shh, baby. It was just a nightmare. No, it wasn't. There you go, Alan. Oh, Arbit. I fell. I hey, what happened to your nose? Sedative. Don't fight it. I... You went through another rough period. What? Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Oh, the shock geez. of your wife's death triggered a mental illness. No, you're... you lie. You're suffering from various uh, symptoms of undifferentiated schizophrenia. Bastard. It's okay, Alan. Just let go. Man, how long has it been? Well, it's kind of sad. I felt groggy. Yeah, he's like, I'm a tight writer. Whatever it bumped in me was making me numb. Ooh. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. <laughs> it's like purple haze. There were only empty sheets of paper here. Yep. No manuscript pages. Still got my writer's block. Ah, so bright. Uh, yeah, man, that's kind of sad. Especially if it's been like, if I've been in here for a while. Oh, get away from me. I want to punch Good you. Good evening, again. Alan. Are we feeling better now? <laughs> feeling calm? Yeah. No. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. <laughs> so sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Yeah. Why, right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. Yeah. Let's be optimistic about this. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip. Except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. <laughs> this corridor is only four people. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. I bet you Splendid, do. Splendid, Alan. Yeah, I honestly splendid. believe we can get this thing under control if kick. we work together. I know how powerful way, my Alan. kicks are. If I kicked you in the butt right now, I'd send it to the moon. Hey, gorilla. Ooh, ooh. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. Yes, you so do. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. <laughs> no, no, she's not. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering from hallucinations, You're paranoid lying. delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, a feeling that everything revolves around you, your does. thoughts and dreams. Bobby. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Yep. 
Sounds about right to me. Maybe go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot. Oh, no. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. Yeah, he but is. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, <gasps> I had to fight Wait, not is... to believe his words. I wonder if he's really part of the darkness, and that's... And they're trying to fool me. You're part of the darkness, aren't it's you? It's all in your head. No, you're dark. You've been dark. making it up. No. Nope. Apart from the tragic accident with your nope. wife, nope. no one has been killed. No. Nope. Your delusions are just a manifestation. Really? Your subconscious mind trying so... to protect you from the too painful truth. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? Nope. You're a skeptic by nature, Alan. We nope. both know this. Nope. Everything can be explained logically. Like that nose. <laughs> so, um, so you're saying if we go around town and, uh, try to find the people that died, that they're not going to be dead. We're going to see them just, you know, playing ball and whatnot, huh? I don't believe you. I don't believe you one bit. I think this all this is all just some big uh, conspiracy. And I want to break your nose again. What time is it? Beyond the shadow, you settle for there's a miracle illuminated. Tease. Is that Thomas 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 Zane? In the memory of a dear friend and a poet. I <sighs> never get tired of this view. Jeez. Very inspiring, isn't it? E yeah. Cauldron Lake spread below us. Yeah, my wife I drowned apparently right over the there. The lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Uh oh. It seems there's a storm coming. You dang straight. Funny, I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, yeah. No matter. Yeah, it's this happening. Way, Follow me. You're gonna die. Alan, what I'm telling you is good news. Right now, we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Mm -hmm. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well. I admit it's that you're a psychopath. You to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the illness. I let him talk. All, Hartman obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly inside my head. But I, can't I dug do my nails into myself. the palms of my hands to stay you focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Whatever. So how long have I been here again, and how long am I going to have this little patch on my head? Because that's got to be coming old now. Come along. Let's go inside. Let's go inside, shall we? Hey! <laughs> come on, come on. So spooky. What? Uh, explain this guy. Uh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's yeah. for staff only. No. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors. Yeah. Man versus nature. Yeah. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Yeah, pretty damn wonderful. Yeah, jerk. Hey, guy. Scary, scary, scary. Yeah, you're jerk. <laughs> Emerson. I like this guy. Alan, please, this way. Shut up. <gasps> Hello? Look, it's that guy again. Oh, it's both the guys. He's going to put the lime in his coconuts. Yeah. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. You've mm -hmm. been writing as a part of the therapy. Uh huh. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Okay. I want to steal some stuff first. Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. Maybe. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Great. I already know what's going to happen later. <laughs> if there's a generator and a light, something is going to happen later. If you have any concerns, please don't hesitate to voice them. I have a concern about this guy who's breathing down my neck. <laughs> Look who it is. Look who it is. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. 
Oh, what a storm. Yep. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. So do I. And these two are the Anderson brothers. <laughs> Yay. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? Or the tour. A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. <laughs> they even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. Nice. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. Cool. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Duh, I didn't like that look. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, so would I. To fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy's a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash. But I kept it safe from these yeah, yeah, I don't know if you want... Oh. Cool. My head was clearing up. Or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. <laughs> I was convinced he was lying to me. About everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Let me read this. Thomas Zane's writing an assistant. Zane could feel the poems. Taking form. Shaping things. As he experimented, he imagined he could almost feel the power surging through the keys of the typewriter. It exhilarated him. But there was fear, too. If not for his young assistant, Emil, he would have given it up. But Emil convinced him otherwise. He, too, had a way with words. Okay. We had parties there, yep, man. Yep, yep, You, go. you should party go on, there dudes. and have a party. Wow. Okay, that does not look like a freaking storm. It looks like the... F oh, jeez. The darkness is coming for me. The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Oh. Uh huh? Ah. Something's wrong. I'm not myself. <laughs> it's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. <laughs> I've been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Okay, let's type some stuff. Inspiration, here we go. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Everybody calm down. Whoa. Put that down. Rockley, Bert, I need help. Hey, wake. You stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, uh -oh. okay? Are they taken over by the darkness? 